Good morning, everyone. Strafe Gal. Playing some more XCOM 2. We are in the final mission. We're at our halfway point. Ish. I'm trying to remember if my last one, uh, if my last run ended with two or three videos. Either way, um, we are. So this appears to be a wall. I'm trying to figure out which way to go. The one downside with this last mission is it is a huge map. And I think we must have to go this way. So I guess we start moving that way. Let's see what we can see. So the commander's avatar here regenerates every turn, so I'm not super worried about the acid. And it just went away. Perfect. Let's go ahead and move forward and see what happens. Not seeing any enemies over here, so it must be maybe over here? Uh... I guess let's move all up here. Let's move Brad over here. Brian can go over there. Eric over here. Mark over here. I want to move forward again right now because we only have a couple actions. Okay, I'm going to intentionally not move all the way over. I'm saving my Icarus jump for later. sure what what's going on here because I thought this is where we came from I guess we'll just have to see yeah cause this looks like it should be where we're exiting uh, I guess we have to finish off the enemies first maybe We didn't go down here, so maybe that's... Maybe that's it. Okay. Hmm. 
gonna do something kind of dumb. And we're gonna split the party. Because <laughs> genuinely, it seems like this should be where we're going. And I'm not sure why we haven't found what we're looking for here. I'd really love a, a little, like, sound clue or something, maybe? Nope. I was wrong. I guess we head back this way. This is the facility we went through on the north side here, so I guess maybe it's this corner that we haven't been to yet? The first goal is neutralize all targets, so maybe we can't trigger the exit until we find the last group of enemies that's floating around here somewhere. That was definitely not a move made out of frustration. You can't prove anything. We're so spread out right now. Um... I mean, it's not like one of those units in the very back is an essential unit that we have to make sure survives or something. very confused. Um, I thought we started over here. We're leading with Ben just because he's got stupid good movement. There they are. So this must be the last part. Panicked. I'm okay with. I would have been more okay with it if he actually hit, but that's okay. We are nowhere near those guys. Uh, with a lot of our units. Void Rift. Uh, 
Uh, let's run and gun. So you can get a slightly better shot. Perfect. I mean, at this point, I feel like there's only one thing to do. And that is lightning hands this guy. Face off. I was right, you do go there. You just have to kill everything else first. <laughs> and it moves us automatically, that's... Astounding. If I had to run this all the way back across, I would have been very upset. remember correctly we have to just so we have to destroy their avatars plural it's going to keep spawning stuff in as we go this is basically a huge chamber that's going to be a boss fight that lasts pretty much the last or the rest of the mission That's right, they teleport all over the place. I forgot about that. That's annoying. Okay, um... I guess let's see if this works. Yep. Teleport again. Hey! That looks convenient. One of three down. Uh, let's reload because this isn't a uh, free reload. It's the one thing that doesn't have for me. Um... I think we fan fire here. Oh, he may actually have a shot here? Question mark? No. Okay. We're gonna pop back this way because we're probably gonna be spawning the other side in next round. 
So they keep spawning in more and more enemies. We need to not do that. Or we need to not worry about the extra enemies that are spawning in. We need to keep looking for the avatars. Because a few sectoids over here, not the end of the world. We could probably take those out in one or, or in one pretty safe shot. I was kind of counting on Paul having his Overwatch still for that. Unfortunately. Uh, why are you spawning more enemies in? That's that's a lot of enemies spawning in at once. Okay. You can stop now. Thanks, though. Um, let's move over here. And... Oh, he doesn't have Void Rift back up. That may have been a mistake. Okay. How much health do these things have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, and this is 10? Yep. So we're gonna move in and Reaper. less damage every time you attack. That's right. Um, oh, that actually would have triggered Bladestorm. That was my mistake. But that's fine. Move Eric over here. Archon takes low damage on a miss, but still damage. Um, I would have been okay without this, but we're gonna take or we're gonna do serial on top of death from above. Just to make sure. Uh let's focus on the two with low health first. That's his last free reload.
Free reload. Move forward. Gremlin heal. Uh, double move. There's the second avatar. Spectres are not my favorite. I don't like the fact that they're spreading out either. But at least the mutons are clumped up over here with the commander. So this should be unfortunate for them. <laughs> I'm just going to ignore those, probably. I'm, or just move Brian over there and just let uh, Blade Storm just kill all of them. Um... So, move forward. Dimensional Rift is going to hit everything over there for a lot of damage. Forces that thing to move. Where's Ben? Let's see what his shots are. Oh, uh, let's I think there's a muton down there with one health. Yeah, let's do that one. He does still have reloads. Okay. We do want to take those specters out if we can, so I'm going to see if I can get another action on those. But we really do need to focus on the avatar... So I think we're going to move over here. Fire on the avatar. That's gonna make it teleport again. I mean... What did you expect was gonna happen at that point? trigger reaction. Um. Does he not have any sight on the other side? That's unfortunate. Oh, 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 oh. He's still got a blaster bomb left. I should probably have saved that for something with armor, but you know what? Screw it. I want to take one of those specters out because I don't want to get two people possessed in one turn. Uh... I 
know that's not gonna kill, but at this point, I just want to do some damage so we can make sure that we can end the unconsciousness in one turn. Um, we are going to move forward with Eric and aid protocol on, I guess, Paul? Is that the best option here? Yeah. And I'm genuinely just going to do this. Brian gets a uh, blade storm on all three of these guys pretty easily. Just going to make sure he's in cover from anything else that spawns in. As long as this isn't the avatar, we're good. Three priests. Shadowbind on Paul. Knew that was coming. But that could be worse. Ooh, I forgot about the fact that they move afterwards. Wait, did it not work? It didn't work. is not good. Okay, that needs to go away. Don't spread out. I want to kill you all. <laughs> How can I kill you all if you spread out like that? Um, okay. Hey, these vipers have low health. Ben has a shot at all of them. Not all of them. Oh no. Oh, they've got a dodge off. That's unfortunate. Okay. Somebody else is going to have to take an action at some point here. Do want to? Okay, let's see where we're at on everything else. Everyone else. What can Brad see for me? Nothing. That's kind of crappy. Master, Implacable, just slide up here. That's fine. He has Untouchable, he has 80-something dodge, and he has uh, full health and armor. Like, I think we're okay there. Eric doesn't have a shot. I don't think Mark has a shot currently, but I think we can get him a shot.
Paul's the only one who has this shot, so I kind of feel like I have to do that, but he can't even get a kill there. Um... Yeah. Luckily, Brad's got Inspire left. Or again. Lightning hands the Viper. How stupid is that? Seriously? Um... Today, on how many actions can Ben take in one turn... There's the last one. Perfect. The Spectre's Avatar's Mutants. We can deal with that. It's far on the other side, unfortunately. But... I think we'll be okay. Priests generally don't do attacks. They do their uh, psionic abilities. So I was kind of counting on that here. And they just locked down the one person that they had a good shot on. If they just lock down half my team in stasis, that's going to be kind of awkward. But I can think of worse things. It means the other team's just gonna move a turn closer to us. So yeah, they literally just locked half of our team in stasis. Okay. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Brad's got a shot from here. Uh, Brian can get a shot and has run and gun. So I can get a better shot. Oh, you just moved into a better position for me to shoot you? The 
couple dodge grazed. Um. I mean, okay, wait, that's six to eight. Oh, he doesn't have a good shot there. We take the risk. That 40% chance ends the, ends the game. we do a soul fire and see if he teleports into range of somebody else. Let's do it. Heck yeah! Juice for your own trip home. Commander, you okay? We just lost contact. What the hell is happening here, Doctor? It's the elders. They're overwhelming our link, enveloping the commander's consciousness. And sever the connection! We do that, we risk a complete overload. We will reclaim what was given. We will be whole once more. No! Synaptic activity returning to acceptable levels. And one transdimensional psionic network down for the count. Mission accomplished, Commander. Heck yeah. This is the Liberation Network broadcasting on all frequencies. Advent is in full retreat across all areas. The heavy fighting continues in the city centers as Advent forces attempt to regroup. We're barely keeping up with the flood of refugees here, as people continue to desert the Advent-controlled city centers. Full curfew remains in effect as the administration deals with the ongoing crisis. To all of you in the occupied zones, hold your ground. Continue the fight. We promise you, help is on the way. Heck yeah. That was kind of awesome. I'm just saying. And humanity rises up. Nah. 
That was, uh, that went well. I, I feel like pretty much everybody got to do something memorable, got to have a, a, an impact on the story. I was pretty happy with the way the run went overall. We got to use a lot of units. Like, that was way more than the last runs. from the cold. It's the expansion for War of the Chosen, I'm assuming. The additional ending point for them. It's just kind of bouncing around, giving us random scenes of Advent getting whacked. I guess. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, welcome home. Hey, we freed the the advent. That's great. That's kind of cool. With the psionic network down, the core is even stronger. Gather everyone. Our time is short. We want but a battle. I mean, I don't think you're correct there, because we are done. <laughs> so yeah. Overall, this went pretty well. Um, like I said, we got to use a lot of soldiers. We ended up... Wait, two soldiers lost? Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure we only lost once. I thought we only lost Jim. I'm confused now. Um, so yeah. Overall, that went well. We didn't lose a single mission. We had a, several flawless missions, and generally speaking, got through all of every, what we needed to. Killed all the Chosen. Did not use a lot of faction heroes. Um, global ability points earned, so we used a lot of ability points there. Covert actions completed. Um, sounds about right. We did this with the power of friendship. <laughs> um, used 29 soldiers turnal, or total, which is pretty solid. Um, lots of promotions, lots of colonels. Two psychic soldiers maxed out. Lots of hacking rewards, lots of robots hacked, which doesn't surprise me considering how good we had some of those. Um, about average on a lot of this stuff, just a little bit ahead of average on a lot of them, which surprises me a little. I felt like we were going slow. Um, I guess most people do more ra radio relays. Um, but yeah. I really like XCOM. I'm glad that my new computer was able to handle it, where the old one wasn't. I was really disappointed when my last War of the Chosen run got cut off. Um, I have a couple XCOM-esque games that are on my list to try later um, that I might try and use. I'm kind of feeling like those are going to be a good potential to play later, but I, at the same time, I don't feel like a lot of them have the exact same feel, and a lot of them don't seem to have, from what I can tell at least, don't seem to have the same soldier customization. Not that the soldier customization on this is good, but I somehow 
still feel like it's better than what I was seeing with uh, some of the other games. Maybe I'll dig in a little bit more on them, but like I said, I've got like, I think three XCOM clones that I've poked around at, um, but I haven't played yet. Um, Phoenix Point, I think, is one of them, and there's a couple others. This is one of the bigger projects I've done uh, recently. Honestly, 60, outside of like Hades, and I think this is probably in my top five as far as how long games have taken to beat. 60 episodes is a lot, and the time for it is even higher. And honestly, with uh, all three XCOM games, this is one of my longer playlists now, too. Um, yeah. This was fun. I am saw a lot of interaction. I saw a lot of uh, metrics pop up <laughs> from this. So I'm gl glad to see other people watching, other people enjoying it. And I know a few other people have been inspired to do their own runs following up. Uh, make sure you check out uh, Brian's run. Uh, I believe it's just... I'll, I'll link it in the description. Uh, he's been playing alongside, has his own team, a lot of familiar faces from this and some different ones. Um, I know a few other people are doing runs without this. XCOM's a great game to check out. It's a really fun way to do something where you can kind of share with other people. Um, which right now feels like a, a great digitally being with other people or remotely doing stuff like this with other people is a cool way to keep in touch with people or to get in touch with people. Uh, my next big project that I'm going to be looking at, we're going to try another Pokemon run. Um, so I'll be posting about that shortly. Yeah. Let me know if there are any other games that you would like to see next. I'm still having some issues with my, uh, with my emulator, so we're not going to be doing any more classic games for now, but there are so many PC games and Switch games that are available. I'm not super worried about it. There will always be more games to play. And I've managed to finish this in time for the holidays, uh, for the holiday break to be over, which I'm also happy with. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. There is a lot of other stuff out there. I'm sure there's something else out there that you would enjoy. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. If you have any funny comments, leave them in the comments. <laughs> I appreciate the interaction. I, it's a nice way to know that people are watching, and I do like to know what people would like to see in the future. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.